Okay, we're going to look at Newton's method for approximating the zeros of a function. Uh, first of all, a visual demonstration. Here we have a simple function which we could find the derivative, I mean the zeros directly, uh, f of x equals x cubed minus 2. But basically it goes like this. You guess at a solution, and here the guess is that x is equal to 1. Locate f of that guess which is on the function and when uh, x is 1 on the function y is equal to negative 1 in our example then we create the tangent line All right, so we would need to calculate the slope at this particular point and then come up with the equation of that tangent line through that point the next step is to look at this tangent line and say, well, where does this tangent line cross the x-axis? We locate that point, and in this case, it becomes x equals 1.3 is repeating, and that's our next guess in our procedure. So we now locate 1 f of 1.333 on our function, and that's that point d that we see and we repeat the process we need to find the uh, tangent at that point and so the tangent at that point is this blue line and of course notice that just in two iterations we are really closing in on the approximation of the uh, x-intercept All right, and just to continue it visually we get closer we find the new point on the function, new tangent line, and basically backing off of all of this to declutter things. We have a guess that basically is an excellent approximation of the zero of this function, and it comes from that last tangent line. All right, so how do we look at uh, doing this algebraically? Well, if you start with the point slope form of a line, because we need to do that to find the tangent line, looks like this. y equals m times, in parentheses, x minus the x of a point plus the y of a point. Well, the x of the point is our uh, first guess. All right and f of that would be our y sub 1. All right, so we're going to replace y1 with fx of 1, and we're going to replace the slope with the derivative of the function at x sub 1. And now we're going to distribute the f prime, the derivative of f of x sub 1. All right, and now, going back to our visual, what we were interested in was where that tangent line crossed the x-axis. Well, when the tangent line crosses the x-axis, all right, that point is where y is 0. All right, so we're going to let the y equal 0 in our little formula. And now we're going to solve it for x. Solving it for x, we are going to move the terms to the other side that don't have x in it. And then we're going to divide by f prime of x sub 1, leaving us with our formula. And on the right side here, I have the x alone. So the new x is going to be equal to the previous x, or the guess, minus f of the guess divided by f prime of the guess. And then you just continually repeat that process. 